Remote Network Monitoring Remote Network Monitoring is an extension of the simple network management protocol that allows detailed monitoring of network statistics for Ethernet networks. Remote Network Monitoring is defined in Request for Comments, 1757. Armon lets you monitor network traffic on a remote Ethernet segment from a central location on the network to detect problem conditions such as traffic congestion, dropped packets, and excessive collisions. You can use Armon to set network traffic thresholds that trigger alarms so that you can correct network problems before they occur. Embedded Armon support for Ethernet switches lets network administrators monitor switched Ethernet networks that cannot easily be monitored using traditional packet-sniffing network analyzers. How does it work? Like SNMP, Armon is implemented as a standard management information base on Armon-enabled devices. These Armon-enabled devices include the following. Standalone devices, called dedicated Armon probes, that can be temporarily or permanently installed, or desired on the network. Existing network devices, such as repeaters, bridges, hubs routers, or Ethernet switches, that have an Armon probe embedded into their circuitry. An Armon probe consists of an SNMP agent for collecting information and communicating it to an SNMP management application, and one or more Armon MIBs, defining the network objects to be managed. Typically, an SNMP manageable device, such as a hub or router, needs additional software installed on it, only to provide our own functionality and turn it into a probe. Other devices called hosted probes are implemented as add-on hardware modules with built-in processing power and memory. Our own is usually implemented on only one device or interface per TCP IP subnet. Our own agent software runs on the port of the router or switch, which monitors and collects Ethernet networking statistics for the attached subnet. These statistics relate to the physical layer and the data link layer of the Open Systems Interconnection Reference Model for Networking. An SNMP Management Console contacts the Armon agent when it wants to collect the statistics in order to analyze them and present them to the network administrator or network traffic conditions on the device can trigger the agent to notify the management station of an alarm condition using SNMP traps. Armon agents can also collect and store statistics for monitoring trends in network traffic. The Armon MIB, defined in Request for Comments 1757, contains nine groups of manageable objects for various aspects of Ethernet traffic monitoring, totaling 204 objects and two events. These groups of objects, usually referred to as the Armon 1 groups, are as follows. 1. Statistics Record statistics for Ethernet network interfaces, including packets sent and received, bytes sent and received, the number of each type of packet, packets dropped, errors, and collisions. 2. History Specifies the types of data being sampled, and the frequency at which data is sampled, and records the sampled data for later analysis. 3. Alarm lets you set thresholds and sampling periods to trigger alarms when specified network conditions arise. 4. Host. Records MAC addresses, the number of packets sent and received for broadcast, unicast, and multicast packets, the number of bytes sent and received, and the number of error packets for all hosts on the subnet. 5. Host. Top lets you list hosts according to ranking parameters such as amount of traffic generated or number of errors generated. 6. Matrix Record statistics for communication between pairs of hosts, such as their source and destination addresses and the number of bytes and packets sent and received. 7. Filter Controls which kinds of packets the agent should capture, such as all packets larger than a certain size, all packets that match a specific bit mask, or logical combinations of individual expressions. 8. Capture. 
lets you capture packets for collecting network statistics, and configure capture buffer sizes. 9. Events. Let's you generate SNMP traps and log entries. Request for comments 1513 extends the original Armon specification by adding a MIB group to Armon called Token Ring, which extends Armon functionality to Token Ring local area networks by allowing sampling and collection of statistics specific to this networking environment. Armon 2 defined by request for comments 2021 extends the original Armon specification, with nine more MIB groups, that specify the collection of statistics at the network layer and application layer. Network administrators, can remotely collect information, about the flow of data in client-server applications, in an enterprise environment. For example, with Armon 2 enabled routers and switches, you can determine which workstations are accessing a specific client-server application, on a specific server, from a remote SNMP management console. Armon 2 includes the original Armon MIB groups, and extends them with an additional 268 manageable objects. If you want to learn more, about networking concepts and definitions, don't forget to press the subscribe button. To be notified, when our channel releases another video, click also on the bell icon. And don't forget to visit our website, networkencyclopedia.com.